hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you all had a great weekend i just got back from the lion king i look like i could have been in the show i am excited about today's video it's a collab with six other amazing youtubers so the host is casey over at coffee with my sunshine i love her she is really and truly the sweetest person i had a thousand questions she helped me with all of them when casey called she didn't call me she doesn't have my number when casey asked me to be part of this I couldn't believe that I was going to take part in a collab with six other ladies that are killing it. I am a huge fan of all of these ladies. So to be asked to be part of this was like, <laughs> Mama, I made it. <laughs> So take a look at this lineup. This is why I'm so excited. We've got Casey over at Coffee with My Sunshine, Yami from The Latina Next Door, Katie Leanne and Clan, Kristen K, Cuban Curls, oh that's me, sorry, Measure and Mix and Design to the Nines. Make sure to stop by their channels. You will not be disappointed. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to leave a link for the playlist down in the description box so that you can see what everybody else made. Let's just get started. I'm really anxious to get started and create my treasure from my trash. So your girl over here works at a library. I know it's hard to believe with my loud mouth, but I do. These plastic sheets are where the library cards are kept. And after we take them out, we throw this in the garbage. Next up, styrofoam. I got this piece of styrofoam from the box when our barn doors were delivered. My husband thinks I need medication when I do things like this. There's a method to my madness, believe me. From the Dollar Tree, I'm gonna be using this foam board panel and 32 inch bamboo skewer sticks. They come 12 in a pack, but I'm only gonna use four. So the first thing I do is take my Art Minds Antique Wax and give these sheets two coats each. I honestly love this wax. It's my go-to method for making things that are not wood look like wood. I prefer it over paint, and it also protects your piece. Using the same antique wax, I paint my styrofoam. Now, I have to tell you, I didn't think this was gonna work. I've actually never painted styrofoam before, and since I've read that acrylic paint is best for styrofoam, but it worked out pretty well. Now that these are dry, I'm going to try and make this look like a window. So what I do is just add a little bit of hot glue and I glue the sheets down vertically, starting at the bottom, creating a square shape. You'll see what I mean. It's easier for me to show you than to explain it sometimes. So now it's time to create the frame and for that I'm going to be using that styrofoam piece. Hot glue will melt styrofoam. I was not sure what kind of glue I was going to use for this project, but I read somewhere. What you need to do is make sure that you let it cool down just for a few seconds before you actually place the styrofoam on top of it. I'm so happy that I found that article. I tried using super glue on another piece and it melted it. Reading is fundamental. I take it all the way up to the top of the foam board, creating an arched shape. Now, I couldn't find my utility knife, and as always, my husband, Peter, to the rescue. I don't recommend anybody do this, but he used a razor to cut away the extra foam board, and he got cut. So, pink flowery gardening gloves from the Dollar Tree. Ain't no shame in his game. Thank you, Peter Parker. Nice look. This was a really long piece of styrofoam, so I wanted to create like a shelf at the bottom of the window, and all I did was cut out a piece 
and glued it to the bottom and then glued it to the sides. To make the sunburst design up on top, I measure to see how long I want the skewers to be and then I just cut them down to size. I sand them down and then I paint them with the antique wax. I cut five pieces that were six inches, give or take an inch, and I was able to get away with using only one skewer for this part. I found this antique keyhole cover in my stash. A while back, I bought a hutch from Restore and I revamped it. This was on one of the doors and I removed it and put new knobs on it. Taking a little hot glue, I go ahead and glue it down to the center. Now, I didn't like the way the inside of the frame looked, you know, that hot glue looked a little bit sloppy. So I took two more skewers, I painted them in the antique wax once again, and then I glued them to each side just to hide, you know, all that messy glue and whatnot. So here I am at the home stretch and I didn't like the look. I felt it needed something, not the black arrows. But I did want this to look a little bit more authentic. I saw something online and it had like this bar, like a lock and at the top it had like some ornate decoration and at the bottom as well. And so I had to cut two more pieces of the skewers and then I found these really tiny removable hooks at Dollar Tree. They're great, they're self-adhesive. I'm using those to mimic the top and bottom ornate fixtures on the bar. Now you might think this is wacky, and if you do, I completely agree with you. I used four colors to paint these remaining skewer sticks and hooks. The Deco Art Metallics paint in the Glorious Gold, Ceram Coat, Burnt Umber, Waverly chalk paint in ivory and then Waverly chalk paint in celery. Now the reason I used all of those paints is because I wanted to get as close to the color of this keyhole cover as I possibly could. Hindsight is 2020, and I probably could have used just the gold and the celery. But if you've been with me for a while, you know your girl and you know how I do. Crazy. So I glue down the little hooks one to the top, one to the bottom. Then using some hot glue, I glue down the last two pieces of the skewers that I cut to size. And to hang my piece on the wall, some hot glue and some Dollar Tree twine. And this is how my window turned out. I am very happy with it, I love it. I can't believe that by using trash, I mean things that were gonna be thrown out in the garbage, and a couple of Dollar Tree items, I was able to make something that I am really, really happy with. My hands shake terribly, and I did go a little glue crazy. I am gonna to have to go back and cut it away somehow. If you have any ideas, let me know. But for two bucks and some trash, I think it came out pretty good. Now here's a closer look at those self-adhesive hooks. I really think that these helped complete the look. And I love the fact that the one on the top is great for when I want to hang a wreath and I can change it out for the seasons. That little makeshift shelf is not very sturdy, so I really wouldn't put anything very heavy on there. But those pumpkins from the Dollar Tree are pretty light. I'd like to thank Casey once again for asking me to be part of this collab. And I am not only honored, but I am shocked. I really appreciate it. I really do. Thank you to all the ladies that participated. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.